All right, thank you for joining us here at Highland Cycles for our next instructional video. We're going to be talking about truing wheels today. Uh, this is a front wheel off of a KTM, uh, our KTM 250. You can see it's not real straight. Um, that's because I didn't tighten the spokes early enough after we bought it. Yeah, we're just going to be doing a super simple um, wheel truing video here. One thing <coughs> that helps, obviously, is a stand. You can do this on your bike though. You can um, do this with the wheel on the bike in the forks if you don't have a stand. So, so. What you want to do is kind of get it going and find the spot, like find if it's got a big bend in it. Um, I use, here, come over here, Zang. I use just a zip tie. You say you don't have to spend lots of money. You don't have to. So get zip tie close, and you can see how it gets closer right there. So we're gonna let that side come around again, and boom. So <clears throat> when it's close like that, and that's like the only place it gets close and it gets further away and stays about the same, what you wanna do is pull that wheel that way, right? So these spokes over here are, you can do that. So what you wanna do is come in here and right where it was um, closest, you're gonna tighten up some spokes. Um, having the right wrench is super handy. Um, get the right one for your bike. This one's one specifically for KTM spoke nipples. So tighten up this, just this side in the area. And we're gonna just do these three and then we're gonna spin it again and see if we got any better. It's actually looking pretty good, but we're gonna see it gets, it gets a little close and it gets a little farther away in the one spot. So we're gonna let that go there so it gets a little far away right there. So then we're going to tighten up the other side and you can do it. So you can do it from either side. You don't have to take the spoke wrench and go to the other side of the wheel. So it's actually pretty good. I feel pretty good about that. So here's one thing that definitely <coughs> to me is important about when you're truing a dirt bike wheel to not spend your whole life trying to make it absolutely perfect because the reality is it's a dirt bike and it goes off-road and hits rocks and hits trees and hits roots and falls down and maybe launches off of a cliff and um, a street bike is a different game because you might be doing over 100 miles an hour um, if you've got a dual sport bike or like a desert race bike where you might be doing over 100 miles an hour it might be a little more important uh, to take care of that but this is our woods bike. Uh, we're just trying to make sure it's straight. And then now we're gonna go around and we're gonna make sure all the spokes are about the right tension and nice and tight. Because the tighter you get them, the stronger the wheel. The cool key to keeping this straight as you tighten all the spokes is not to just go spoke by spoke by spoke and tighten them down. You wanna go every third spoke. So, you want to so to pick a starting point, doesn't matter as long as you can remember. Um, but this wheel makes it easy. It's got the markings for the size right here and a hole, you know, for the valve stem. So I start here and just pick, you know, either side and you're going to tighten it. You're going to tighten one down. And the thing is you don't need, you don't need the, uh, spoke torque wrench. Those are really nice. Fast company makes those things and it's, it's handy, but you don't really need it. You just, you can get a good feel, especially after you get that tight. And then you're going to go every third spoke. That's the key to keeping this thing from getting out of whack as you tighten it. So that's one, you go one, two, three, and you're going to tighten this one down to about the same tightness again. No, it's not torqued. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Then you go one, two, three, and that one's already pretty tight. And then you go one. We're at the same one again. So then <clears throat> I just go forward one, tighten that one down. Because, you know, it's better to have them too tight than loose, because if they get loose, what happens? is 
they'll rattle, 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 and you'll break a spoke here or here. Usually, from in my experience, they break up here near the hub. Um, hopefully, if I've done it correctly, the wheel will be nice and true. Right on. So, if you take a look at that, zoom in on that thing, Zach, you can see that it's pretty darn straight. It's not perfect because you can see it's got some bends and dings in it from hitting rocks and things like that. But it's nice and straight. I use the every third spoke method to tighten it all up. You start on one spoke and then you tighten that down, get it nice and tight. Then you go one, two, three, go to the next spoke, tighten that one down, get it about the same just by feel. One, two, three, you go all the way around till you get to the same one. Then you move forward a spoke then every third and then you come back you finally hit the last you know the last one that you haven't done do that three times around make sure it's nice and they're all nice and tight uh, again you don't have to use the fast company torque wrench for spokes it is nice if you have one then that's awesome you make sure they're perfect the key is making sure that they're all nice and tight um, and that when you're done it's nice and round um, um, if you have any bends one way or the other well, you, you take you tighten the spokes to pull the wheel towards you know to get it straight and if you need to you can loosen the other spokes that are on the other side dirt bike the main thing to remember is you want it nice and tight and round ish on your dirt bike because you're just going to go bang this thing through the woods and the rocks and the desert anyway so there's no reason to put a ton of time into it um, but you want to make sure they're nice and tight this is super important on a new bike because these wheels especially ktm wheels it seems like um, tend to like break in or loosen up as you ride and so you want to go back over them pretty quick so you don't end up with a wheel that's all out of whack or broken spokes so yeah thanks for uh joining us for this instructional video if you like this thing please share it yeah if you like this video you like our video subscribe to the channel please uh hit the little bell notification so you know when we put another video up and share it around if you like what we do uh leave a comment and we'll definitely get back to you we answer every one of them so yeah Hope you guys have a great day and hope you get out and ride your dirt bikes! <laughs>